THCA. Everything you should know. We know you virtually mastered the intricacies of star cannabinoids THC and CBD and how they affect your high. You're aware of how they interact with other cannabis-derived chemicals known as terpenes, and perhaps you've looked into the much-debated Enturage effect, the endocannabinoid system. No worries. But now, we're going to toss another molecule into the mix, THCA. Cannabis plants generate about 100 distinct cannabinoids, all of which contribute to the effects of smoking, vaping, eating, or applying cannabis topically. While you may be unaware, THCA is a component of the plant, and it's time to learn more about it. What exactly is THCA? THC in its acidic form is known as THCA, tetrahydrocannabinolic acid. Terpene and cannabinoid contents begin to build when a cannabis plant grows and its buds increase. CBGA, often known as the mother of all cannabinoids, is the first cannabinoid produced by the plant. It will ultimately break down and generate major cannabinoids such as THCA and CBDA. When taken, THCA does not produce intoxication. It has an extra molecular carboxyl ring that stops it from connecting to brain receptors that are responsible for feeling euphoric. What's the purpose if it doesn't get me stoned? You may be wondering. But without THCA, we wouldn't have THC or its myriad health advantages. When THCA is heated, like when smoking, vaping, or dabbing, it degrades. When THCA is heated, such as when smoked, vapped, dabbed, or cooked, it transforms into the psychoactive, well-known cannabinoid THC. THC versus THCA. The main distinction between THCA and THC is that THCA does not cause the same intoxication effects as THC. However, in order to produce THC, THCA must be heated, either by smoked, vapped, dabbed, or cooked for edibles. By eliminating a carboxyl ring, this reaction changes the molecular structure of THCA. This also aids THC's ability to attach to CB1 receptors in our bodies. In some ways, the effects of THCA and THC overlap. Both have the ability to alleviate nausea, but THCA shows significantly greater promise in terms of reducing inflammation. On the other hand, because THCA does not produce intoxication, some people may find it less useful for sleep than activated THC. While THC is not advised for seizure disorders, THCA might show some potential in treating them. Is a greater dose of THCA or THC preferable? Before cannabis products may be offered to the public in any state with a medicinal or recreational cannabis program, cannabis brands and operators must have them tested by a third-party lab to guarantee compliance and safety. The amounts of THCA and THC in a product can assist you determine how strong it is and what type of experience you'll have. While it may appear that you desire a high THC level, simply adding heat to THC may burn away part of the cannabinoid content, leaving you craving more. Unless you're searching for edibles, you want high THC at levels rather than THC. KHTA indicates the entire potency potential of what you're about to smoke, dab, or vape since it will convert to THC. When shopping for flour, vape cartridges, or concentrates, seek for the THC at number. These are all items that require decarboxylation or heat activation to generate a high. Is THCA synonymous with Delta-8 or Delta-9? The acidic version of Delta-9 THC, the most prominent psychoactive component in cannabis, is known as THCA. Delta-8 THC has the same amount of atoms as Delta-9 THC, but their configurations differ and this arrangement influences its effects. This is how corporations have been able to make Delta-8 goods legally from hemp plants, which are required by law to have less than 0.3% Delta-9 THC. Delta-8, commonly known as Delta-8 tetrahydrocannabinolic acid, is generated from THCA, although little study has been conducted to determine how it compares to THCA. Furthermore, both Delta-8 and Delta-9 THC have an intoxicating effect when taken. They are not acidic in the same way as THCA is. What are the effects and advantages of THCA? When taken without first decarbing, raw cannabis doesn't really generate a high. 
consuming raw cannabis for its THC at concentration, such as by juicing or eating a THCA-based medicine or edible, delivers some of the same advantages as activated THC without intoxication. According to anecdotal evidence, THCEA has some impact, but its chemical structure precludes it from connecting with CB receptors in our body's endocannabinoid systems. There isn't enough evidence to suggest that THCEA doesn't give users with pain relief in the same manner that THC does, but it does interact with our receptors in a different way. According to research, it may also have neuroprotective properties, which may assist in the slowing and prevention of neurodegenerative illnesses such as Huntington's disease. It can also aid in the treatment of illnesses such as colitis and IBS. Preliminary research indicates that THCA may aid with seizure disorders. THCA. How to use it. Many stoners and patients utilize THCA transformed into THC every day to get high or treat their symptoms by smoking, dabbing, vaping, or eating a kind of cannabis. In these instances, THC serves as a conduit for reaping the effects of THC. However, more and more businesses are recognizing the advantages of THCA when used alone. Consuming raw cannabis is a common and easy approach to get THCA. You can actually consume it. However, many people choose to incorporate it into a juicing program for improved efficacy and flavor. Many firms now provide THCA tinctures and topicals that may be used as part of a regimen, similar to vitamins or a massage treatment after strenuous activities. Good news! Activating THCA is as simple as packing, lighting, and inhaling. Stoners, patients, and casual users activate their THCA every time they smoke cannabis, consume dabs, use a vape pen, or engage in any other type of heat consumption. Cannabis can also be decarboxylated for usage in foods, tinctures, and topicals. We have a few options for you, but it boils down to exposing your cannabis buds to temperatures ranging from 200 to 245 of for 30 to 40 minutes in a standard oven. Anything above 300 O, as well as overcooking, will destroy the cannabis content. Is it better to smoke or dab THCA? Yes, but it won't last long as THCA. You must expose your cannabis product containing THCA to heat in some way to obtain a high, as well as additional advantages such as pain reduction, hunger stimulation, and nausea alleviation. When THCA comes into touch with heat, such as a lighter, vaporizer pen battery or quartz dab nail, it quickly converts to THC. When you smoke a joint, load a bowl, bang a bomb, cut a volcano bag, click your puff go, and so on, you are largely inhaling THC. Is THCA detectable on a drug test? THC and THCA will both test positive on a drug test. It is impossible to fully decarboxylate the full THCA content of the weed you smoke or dabs you take into THC, so you are likely absorbing THCA as well. The same goes for some types of rosin and slash or hash-based gummies due to the lack of cannabinoid isolation though it is less likely due to required lab testing. THCA is legal? The legality of THCA is a contentious issue. Even though THCA is not psychoactive, it is considered a component of the cannabis plant and will convert to THC if subjected to heat on a regular basis. It can also break down into the semi-intoxicating CBN, which is likewise produced from cannabis. Some US retailers have begun selling THCA products without a medical card. However, this is subject to local and state legislation and should not be seen as a guarantee. Even though THCA is not a scheduled substance, illegal possession of THCA-rich goods, such as cannabis or concentrates, is nevertheless punishable by municipal and federal law. So, if you're found with a pound of marijuana, police cops won't consider the fact that raw cannabis isn't intrinsically intoxicating. Where can I get THCA? Until recently, few products made advantage of the multiple benefits of THCA, but several firms now manufacture THCA-centric products for ingestion and topical application. While THCA-based or infused goods are authorized in both medical and recreational shops, you are more likely to discover them in a store with a therapeutic focus. Also, bear in mind that they will not burn.